Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. In this video, we will continue with the Salesforce developer interview question and answer series. Today, I will discuss part nine uh, video where I will be discussing uh, more about asynchronous Apex again, okay? And then uh, we will continue the feature methods uh, in this video, okay? So if you have not uh, watched previous videos, uh, of this series and then, then I strongly recommend you to watch those first okay so let's get started asynchronous apex again and then we are continuing the feature methods today so the very first question for today's video is can we call a future method from another feature method so so far in, in our previous video we have seen how future method works okay now we have to understand from where all we can call the future method. So the very first question here, it is asking us, can we call a future methods from another future methods? Like for example, I have written a future method and uh, I am writing another future methods and I'm calling second feature method from the first feature methods. Is it, is it even possible? Is it allowed in Salesforce? Let's see. So no, we cannot, uh, call a feature method from another feature method straightforward okay if you want you can just go ahead and try create two two feature methods and try to call one from other okay so the next question is can we call a feature methods from a bad job okay so here what i'm asking is i have written a bad job even though we have not learned about bad job we will learn in in future videos but if i've written a bad job can i call a future method from a bad job okay let's see so no, we cannot call a future method from the job, bad job also, okay? Just simple, remember, we cannot call feature method from another feature method and we cannot call feature method from the bad job. That's it, simple, okay? Next, can we call a feature method from a trigger? This is the third thing, okay? So answer is yes, we can call feature method from the trigger. So, so far what we have learned, we cannot call a feature method from the bad job, or we cannot call feature method from another feature method, but we can call the feature method from the trigger, okay? So these are the three things. So learn from where we can call from. So rest of them is from where we cannot call a feature method, okay? So based on the last three questions, we have a scenario over here, okay? Let's see, let's understand the scenario first. Given a scenario where we have written a feature call in the opportunity trigger update operations, okay? So in a, I'm, re, I'm reading one more time, given a scenario where we have written a feature call in the opportunity trigger update operation. So when opportunity trigger is getting updated, we are calling a feature method, okay? And we have a bad job running an opportunity record and updates the record. So what is happening? See, there are three things. Simple terms, we have written a trigger and from a opportunity trigger and from that opportunity trigger, I am uh, calling a feature method. This is the first step, step one, okay? So now if I try to save a record, then what happens? A trigger is called and from the trigger, a feature method is called. Straightforward, simple, and it is allowed to call a feature method from the trigger. So far, everything is perfectly fine. Now, there is an, a twist added over here in this question. So here is saying, and we have a bad job running on opportunity records and updates the record, okay? So now think if I'm saving it from the from the UI by clicking on save or update, whatever it is, then so far it is fine. But now I have a bad job, which is trying to update all the opportunities. So what happens if the bad job updates the opportunity, then trigger will be triggered, okay? And trigger will be triggered and then my feature method will be called. So what happens in this scenario, okay? So does the feature method call be invoked after the update? So what will happen? Because uh, bad job is calling trigger and trigger is calling the feature method. So what happens in this case? Let's see. So since we are in a batch context, the trigger will run in the same context because trig who is initiating uh, trigger over here? Batch is in initiating trigger, okay? If I am writing, uh, if I am updating from the UI, then that UI will be initiating the trigger, okay? So since we are in the batch context, the trigger will be run in the same context. 
So that is batch context. So as soon as the opportunity records get updated through the batch process, and then the future methods get called from the trigger, then the trigger would throw an exception saying future method cannot be called from a future or batch method. Okay, so you will get an error because even though I am calling the future method from the trigger, but here in this scenario, what is happening is the trigger is starting from the batch job. So in terms, batch is trying to call the feature method, which is not allowed. Okay. So then you will get an error called feature method cannot be called from a future or batch method as feature method cannot be invoked from the future or batch method execution context. Okay. So next question is how can we avoid the above exception? So now what, what happens? See, even though we need a feature method, which should be triggered whenever I'm updating it from uh, from uh, from the UI or from somewhere else, okay, but not the batch. So what happens? What we what should we do? Okay, so the best way to avoid this exception is to write a code in such a way that the feature method does not get executed from the job call or another feature method. So what we can do is we will write a code and we will tell to the code run don't run if it is called from the from the uh, from the bad job or another feature methods. Okay, what happens if it is runs and then executed, then you know, it fails. So what happens our the whole track transaction will fail, right, depending on how we are handling it. So what we are telling to this code that to to, to the feature method that okay, don't run if it is call from the bad job as well as the another feature method. So how do we do that? So we have uh, an option called if not system dot is feature and then not system dot is badge, then only you run this feature call. Okay. If it is, if it is not calling from these both systems, then, then only run this one. Otherwise don't run. So in this, in this scenario, if I write this code, then what happens? Uh, the, the code will never fail. Okay. Or from the bad job, it won't call or from the feature, it won't call the feature. But rest of the time, it will always run and executes perfectly. Okay, so this is how we can handle. So next question is, what if we want to call a future method from a future method? Is there any workaround? <laughs> Look, I would say in the real world, you will not, uh, you know, have this situation. Okay, but interviews will still ask you, you know, just to try to test uh, your knowledge or maybe just they want they don't want they want you not to answer this such type of uh, questions okay uh, even though we don't use it in the real world like this but I still want to show you how what is the workaround okay so as the feature method cannot be called from another feature method then as a workaround we can call a web service that has a future invocation okay so like uh, I am writing a feature method from the feature method. I will call a web service and from the web service, I'll call another feature method. Okay. So it's like instead of calling future method to feature method, I am getting web service in between. Okay. So that, you know, it is permitted and then, uh, you know, it, it can be used as a workaround. Again, I'm saying that this, this, this is not required. This you will not end up, uh, in this situation in the real world. But uh, for interview purpose, if the interviewer asks you, then you have this answer. Okay. Next question is, can we track a trace or track the execution of the future method? So now you have, uh, you have run the feature method, but you want to see what is happening with the feature method, right? So can we track it? So we can track the uh, trace, the future method from setup and Apex jobs, go to the setup and go to the Apex job. Okay. But if it is uh, in the queue and resources are not available, then it won't show up in the Apex job. So we can query the async Apex job. This is an object, a uh, system object in Salesforce. You can, uh, you can run the query on this one object to get the status. Okay. However, future methods do not have the ID. So feature methods does not have an ID. Okay. So we can't trace it directly. We can use another filter such as method name or maybe job type to find the uh, required job. So this, this, uh, object just go and after this, uh, listening to this video, just go and explore this, uh, object, check how many different fields we are having in this. Okay. So apart from ID, it does have, uh, 
other options you know called method name and job type so you can explore those columns and try to find out the status of the apex job but otherwise apex uh, feature methods does not have ids okay cool next question is how to write the test class for a future method right so this is again a very frequently asked question just to confuse you so to test methods defined with the future annotation call the class containing the method in a start test and stop test code block okay so for feature method always use these two things so what happens if you use these two things all asynchronous call made after the start test methods are collected by the system when the stop test is executed all asynchronous process are run synchronously okay so what happens is if you write start test and st uh, stop test uh, it it collects all the uh, it collects all the you know what happens uh, after start test methods are collected by the system when the stop test is executed all the asynchronous process uh, processes are run by the run by run synchronously okay so this is how we can write the test class for the future methods next question is what are some limitations of the future methods let's see if there is any limitations we have so it is not recommended to process a large number of records so this is not for large bulk like you know millions of data you're processing with the this is just a normal method how do you write a normal method but only if you want to run on a separate th thread okay in a different context then only you will write you will use uh, feature methods but don't use for millions of record processing okay uh, it supports only primitive data type as i said you know it it don't it don't support s objects so you know don't try to uh, use the workarounds also for uh, s objects okay as I said, it will work in a short term, but in future, it will give problems, right? Tracing a future job is not straightforward because we don't have ID, so it's difficult to trace, okay? So we cannot call future methods from a batch and future context. However, one call from a queuable context is allowed, okay? We'll see this about the queuable context uh, in later in the videos, but uh, this is how it is, okay? So that's all for uh, the feature methods. These are all the questions and I don't think you will get any other questions apart from this. Uh, try to understand the basic contact concepts if they try to, you know, uh, divert you from these questions and, and, you know, try to confuse you. You should be able to answer uh, uh, about the feature methods uh, uh, interview questions. Okay, so that's all for the feature methods and for today's videos. So Again, as I said, you know, I used to refer all the questions uh, uh, from help.salesforce.com as well as trailheads. You go ahead and refer there as well. Uh, and uh, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I hope, uh, you know, this video helped you prepare for your Salesforce developer interview and crack your next job. Uh, as I said, again, if you have uh, any questions, uh, if you have any questions which you want me to include in my videos, please post this in the comments below okay and uh, if you like this video make sure to hit the uh, hit and subscribe to my channel right now that way you know you don't miss uh, the salesforce interview question and answer videos like this one thank you